What's up, guys? So we've talked about affirm and persist, and affirm and persist, and affirm and persist, but there's actually a third secret step to manifesting that, you know, a lot of people do not ever mention this, but it's very simple, and you're probably always doing it, or at least I hope you're always doing it. It's probably what's always bringing you your manifestations to begin with, but it's just following your happiness. And following your happiness is kind of like detaching in a way because the whole thing about detaching is not necessarily detaching from your desire, but detaching from like the need and the want and the feelings of lack and all of that. So I feel like when you're following your happiness, you're just kind of not really focused on your desire. You're being present and living in the moment. And then everything comes to you in the form of inspired action when you've pretty much just stopped tripping (laughs) and you're living in the moment you're enjoying your life because that's what we're meant to be doing we're meant to be creating stepping into our role as the creator but we're also meant to be enjoying those creations we're not meant to just keep manifesting and constantly trying to pull things in like we're meant to enjoy this life that we're creating so following your happiness is literally just following messages from your subconscious that's leading you towards your desires in the best way possible you're going to suddenly get this feeling to do certain activities or even not like even if you're just sitting there and you decide you know what what would make me the happiest to do right now in this moment sitting on my bed and getting on TikTok. Then all of a sudden you get on TikTok and boom, like a million dollar idea comes to you when you were manifesting millions of dollars. Like, I don't, I don't know. It could be anything. You're putting too much pressure on trying to do the most to get your desire and it, it's too much. So I, I have this comment that I want to read. I got this comment and they say, I have a formula. We only have to declare it's solved. I don't even have to believe anymore. I don't have to do nothing. Because when people know they have to believe, the first thing they think is, in order to have, I have to believe, which implies they don't have it already. So it's solved when you only affirm it's solved. And I like this comment because it's so true. Like we focus too hard on the processes and the techniques instead of just realizing I am the only process. I am the only technique that I need. It's just to be, I am. When you have your desire, you are going to be walking around so happy and feeling so fulfilled by that desire. So if we're living in the end, which is how we should be manifesting by living in the end of having that desire, we should be walking around feeling always happy now. If getting our desire is going to lead us to living our best lives ever, then we should be living our best lives ever now it's literally the law of reversibility the law of reversibility states that if you feel a certain way you will act in a manner consistent with that feeling so if you act in a manner consistent with that feeling even if you don't feel it the law of reversibility will create that feeling aka if you assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled and you feel it then your wish will be fulfilled two plus one equals three. Three minus one equals two. So I'm challenging you to walk around today, the rest of today. You know what? Walk around the rest of this week as if you already have your desire. Stop affirming and persisting all day long and just know that you already have it. Like, yes, affirm and persist. Don't don't ever stop doing that. But also add in the third step of following your happiness and it's going to lead you there. Affirm persist and follow your happiness because it's going to lead you to whatever whatever action is required to get you to your desire you're going to get to your desire in a way that you could never even have dreamt up in your mind so next time you think about your specific person imagine texting them back in your mind if you're manifesting a new apartment go look at apartments if you're manifesting a lot of money and go shopping and look at all of the things that you want to buy but you just don't feel like buying it it's not that you can't afford it it's just you don't feel like buying it right now but but we will walk around super grateful of the holiday coming up because after this holiday you're starting your dream job just keep walking around this week expecting that you have already received your desire that you will receive your desire because it is yours as soon as you have decided what you want you can instantly manifest it instantly. 
all you have to do is decide that whatever you want, you can't manifest it instantly. Don't accept anything less than that. I am not accepting anything less than a text message from my SP every day. I am not accepting anything less than a thousand dollars a day. I am not accepting anything less than whatever. Set a bare minimum and do not accept anything less than that. But I'm telling you, set that bare minimum high <laughs> because you can have anything. Decide what you want and do not be available for any other reality. Do not be available to let anyone treat you a certain way then you don't deserve to be treated. Don't let your bank account not be available to show up as much money as you know you deserve to have. Don't let it, don't allow it. Everything is your creation. It is all but reality you choose. I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. Any success stories, all that fun stuff. And yeah, I will see you guys in a future video. Okay, bye.